Hi and welcome to the latest Digital Now and Next webinar, a series that looks at the evolving digital landscape for the year ahead. If you haven't watched any of our webinars before, they're available on our website right now, including both our gaming and social media webinars. But today we're going to look at the connected TV and where this sits within the wider video mix. And now we're going to pass you on to Michael, Dave and Jen, who will take you through today's webinar. In this now and next, we are talking about the enduring ability of video to connect with Irish consumers, even in today's fragmented media landscape. And that ability is underscored by numbers like this. In 2023, 540 million euro alone will be invested in video. That makes it just under 40% of all investment that makes it the largest medium in the market, and all of that makes it worthy of our attention. And we're all very familiar with the best video ads in Ireland over the last number of years. They're the ones that resonate with us the most. And it won't be long now before we start the debate as to whether any of this season's Christmas ads will join the likes of Guinness's White Christmas in the pantheon of great ads. And it's that ability to resonate and connect with people that makes video the most effective medium when it comes to long-term brand building, according to Messrs. Bennett and Field. But video's greatest strength, its ability to form the bedrock of a campaign, to be that element of activity upon which everything else is built on, is under threat. And it's under threat from fragmentation. Because with streaming, with broadcaster VOD, with video on the big screen and with digital video content in social, it's never been more challenging to navigate that complexity and tap into the power of video. The consolation is that for those brands that can navigate those waters, the opportunities to connect and reach consumers have never been greater. And connected TV is perhaps the most exciting of these opportunities. Now, before we dive into connected TV, we're going to pause for a moment and analyse just what's been happening in the video market of late. On average, each and every one of us is watching over 300 minutes of video every day. In fact, we're watching more video than at any point over the last nine years. And that increase in video watched has come from an increase in video available to watch. For the average adult, just over half of those minutes watched are coming on some form of digital video. For young adults, that number rises to a staggering 80%, with only 19% of young adults video watching coming on linear TV. So when it comes to linear TV, we're still watching it in large amounts, but those amounts have seen a large decrease. So let's look at some of the bigger numbers when it comes to connected TV. As you would have seen with the latest media consumption report, we have seen a 21% increase year in year in VVOD streams. Within this, connected TV is becoming the most dominant device, with over 40% of VOD streams now delivered via a big screen. This excludes, of course, the subscription players, but we expect opportunities to deliver ads over the next 12 months for Irish advertisers. From an advertiser's perspective, connected TV allows us to get much more sophisticated with the types of targeting we apply to campaigns. For example, Michael could be watching his beloved Everton on a Saturday evening on YouTube at 8pm and I could be watching Man United at the exact same time. If this was linear TV, we would both be served the same ad. But because it's connected TV, we get creative, tailored towards who we are. This is of course available via AdSmart with Sky, but Connected TV brings it to a whole new level. If you look at the campaigns that we've bought over the last 12 months within Core, we've used over 1,500 different segments to target consumers on Connected TV. This is a game changer. And to add to that, when we look at the correct and the most effective mix of planned and broadcaster VOD on YouTube, we know that Connected TV is 63% more cost effective when planned against a 15 to 44 year old audience and measuring against the bottom line cost per thousand. Next, we're gonna look at how we plan Connected TV here within Core. It is worth highlighting that we always plan Connected TV as part of a wider video strategy. 
we look at three key approaches when planning connected TV. Firstly, we look at how we can balance reach between linear TV and uh, broadcast or VOD, which would be about 70% of what we do. Secondly, we deliver addressability or build on target capabilities that aren't available within linear TV, which would be about 20% of what we do. And thirdly, we focus on an innovation and deliver new use cases with the technology. Next, we are going to look at four examples of how we tactically use connected TV here in core. Firstly, we're going to talk about incremental reach. We know from previous research that for every ad impression served on a connected TV, there is 1.6 viewers per view. Most important is that we only ever pay for one impression or user. Secondly, we know that when planned effectively, we can reduce the cost per cover point or the costs for hitting a target audience by 24%. And thirdly, through our precision creative team, we can dynamically serve video content through our AI platform based on location, age, demo, or time. Um, this means that for clients using this, that they save up to 40 hours of ad production and campaign management in a given month. For our last example, we're going to talk about the opportunities that now exist within the connected TV. One of the um, formats that we've been leaning more and more into over the last while is the ad pause placement on the Channel 4 place player. Brands are using this more and more to create unique engagement for this format, with some Dior brands including QR codes to track back to a lead or a sale on their site. And the interaction isn't just on possible ads. You can now also run direct response or shoppable ads across these uh, platforms as well, which means a more direct link to the e-commerce site. So in summary, let's look at some of the figures that we just discussed. So number one, we're able to show how we drove incremental reach on connected TV with a multiplier of 1.6. We're able to show how we reduce cost per cover point with Clever Planning by 24%. We're able to automate our connected TV creative and save over 40 hours a month. And then we're able to test new technology to increase our engagement by three. So that's the impact of connected TV and that's the now. Now we're going to look at what's coming next. With all of that in mind, how do we see the connected TV market evolving and what does it mean for you? Well, one thing is for certain, it will continue to grow. And eMarketer believe that the global connected TV landscape will increase by 21% in 2024. When we look at the market now, we're seeing some things that are already helping to fuel that growth. For instance, in addition to its app, Channel 4 are also uploading thousands of hours of content onto their YouTube channel in a bid to reach a younger demographic. The RT Now app has prime real estate on Sky Q boxes on the homepage alongside other apps like Netflix and Disney Plus. Sky Glass and Now are performing really well for Sky and Virgin are set to launch their IPTV uh, offering in the next 12 months. All of these things are helping to improve the UX, making it much easier for people to access connected TV content on their TV sets. One point that needs serious consideration though is measurement. Historically, TV has had a really robust measurement framework in place through Nielsen. And as the video landscape continues to fragment, it's going to be harder for us to track and measure our online ads. The good news in this space though is that TAM's digital panel is moving from 300 to 500 households next year. And the aim here is that we replicate or mirror what we're seeing in the UK through Barb. They are now recording and measuring SVOD subscriptions like Netflix and Disney Plus in the same way that they are monitoring and measuring linear TV. As Dave highlighted earlier, these subscription VOD platforms are huge in Ireland and our own core research conducted last year told us that 85% of 25 to 34 year olds in Ireland have access to a Netflix account, while 50% of 18 to 24 year olds have access to a Disney Plus account. And that's a demographic that advertisers often struggle to reach at scale. Subscription VOD advertising is coming down the line um, and that is being fueled by the likes of Netflix cracking down on password sharers and increasing the price of their ad-funded models. 
uh, Disney ads are coming to Europe in the next number of months, which will have big implications for our 2024 AV planning. What's next? So what does everything we've discussed today mean for advertisers and brands in core? Well, in the short term, connected TV is actually already part of your AV mix, but we will see this continue to grow. Video on demand is 32% of ad revenue here in core, and that will increase to 37% in the next year. Don't underestimate the size of the TV market, especially with increased investment in live sport by some of the broadcasters. These still pull in huge numbers. The next consideration is in relation to audience segmentation. And as Dave stated earlier, connected TV allows you to target more granularly than traditional video advertising. Advertisers should take this into account from both a media and a creative messaging perspective. And last, but certainly not least, Dave mentioned innovation earlier on. There will be more and more opportunities around innovation and new formats as the year rolls out, and your planners and core will keep you in the loop on any opportunities that are relevant for you. And from a longer term consideration perspective, first party data opportunities will increase with the death of the cookie. Right now, these are limited and understandably difficult for some brands, but we do foresee growth here in the near future. To add to this, for some audiences, particularly younger demographics, online video will be the lead video channel surpassing linear TV, which means in the near future, connected TV could become the lead video channel for some campaigns. And finally, which we didn't touch on yet today, is brand uplift studies. Many connected TV providers will build a brand lift study into our campaign activity, which helps us measure the impact that connected TV is having on your KPIs. Your planning team will be in touch with you whenever we can stitch these into your campaigns and your reporting. Thanks for tuning in to today's session and thanks to today's presenters. If you have any questions in relation to today's content, please reach out to your planning teams. See you next time.